I'm gonna I'm gonna ask the very first question, which is the easiest. It's like what is Xolo? What does Xolo represent? You know, just a brief introduction about the service. Sure. Sure. Yeah, Xolo is a very unique uh, service which is focusing on uh, independent professionals, uh, solo planners and digital nomads. So basically people who are selling uh, their knowledge or uh, their services or maybe digital goods or maybe content. And um, usually those people are international in terms of their business or nomadic. So and what makes us unique is that we bring together three things or even four things. So first, we provide them a legal entity that you operate. And secondly, we provide the banking functionality, bank account and uh, related functionality. So we provide them a, a platform, which is a software platform to run the business, to invoice, to uh, carry expenses, to pay themselves and, and make project preparations and so forth. And we also have an accounting service on the background uh, with government reporting and VAT reporting and so forth. So there is not a single other company which is bringing all of those things together in, into one package, into one interface and, and also which priced very competitively. I see. Thank you very much. And so, mm, which is the, um, the specific problem that Solo wants to solve? So, w w which was the purpose since the beginning? Sure. Yeah, so uh, Solo is uh, obviously we are competitive in terms of price, but uh, maybe the most uh, interesting in, uh, fact is we save a lot of time. And uh, based on, on our surveys and a uh, typical independent professional or freelancer spends about 10% of, of time on administrating the business. PIM, just to testify exactly. that exactly. what you exactly. say exactly. is totally exactly. even yeah. more than 10%, depending yeah. on the country they're based. Exactly. And yeah, we, our goal is to bring it to you uh, cl as close to zero as possible. So uh, usually we say about 10 times of the time, and the time is something that people dislike. Like it's not only about the, the, the time which is lost, but it's also it is lost on things people don't like to do because they don't know how to do it. They are not accountants, they are not tax advisors, they are not like insurance providers. So we take the burden away and uh, yeah, people like it a lot. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, I, I can testify what you're saying is totally true twice as much as a tax advisor because I have, other than me, uh, uh, thousands, I mean, it's too much, but a lot of clients, have, they have this kind, they, they didn't know uh, how to do that, how to invoice, and depending on the jurisdiction where they based, um, could be more, very, very much problematic to issue even an easy invoice, because like governments tend to think that it, it is an easy task to issue an invoice, but sometimes it isn't at all. So, so it's really helpful from this standpoint, especially when you don't have a company your own. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, we have about uh, 37,000 people who have signed up on our platform. Uh, and uh, we have two products. And, uh, in one case, people own their company. They can incorporate the company through Xolo, and uh, we help them to run it. And the second one is what we call a virtual company where the people can sign a partnership contract with us and uh, they basically can get the same uh, functionality. They can run their business, but there is no need to even to register a company. It takes literally 10 minutes to launch a business. I, 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 I did that too. I have clients that applied for your Xolo Go and the, the dif which is the difference between Xolo and Xolo Go? Maybe you can specify a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, we have the two products. Like Solo Go is based on partnership and, and where you don't need a company. It's a virtual company. And Solo Leap is where you own a company. So you can actually incorporate uh, on our platform and then you get the European company with a full EU registration and VAT and, and, and so on and so on. And you can run it on our platform. And for which kind of businesses we can apply, we can use Solo, Solo Leap or, or Go? I mean, does it apply to all the businesses, like dropshipping and whatever, or please? Uh, yeah, we, we, are, we are having certain limitations at this point, at least. And um, we are serving customers who are involved in services, 
like consultants or designers or uh, developers and uh, translators, photographers and so on. And we also are serving customers who are uh, selling digital goods or, or content or mobile apps and, and so on. At this point, we are not supporting manufacturers. We are not supporting dropshippers. We are not uh, supporting, uh, for example, real estate uh, in, uh, activities and so on. But we may be expanding in, uh, into some sort of areas over time. But at this point, it's services, content, uh, mobile apps, um, digital goods. So, direct e-commerce and consultancy services? Basically, yes, uh, consultancy and not only consultancy, like there are so many people with so many inventive ways how to run their business. So, yeah. And one of my favorites is actually a Frenchman. So, he, he plays Batman. He so plays? He goes to event Batman. So, I, Batman. I got yeah. it right. Yeah. So, I got it right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and he goes to events like uh, children's birthdays or corporate events, and he plays like he, he's a bad fan, and he runs it through us. Like and, and like, I mean, I'm amazed uh, how yeah. how many different business ideas could people get and be very successful with that. Absolutely, it's it's nice to 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 know. Yeah, and like uh, how um. Um, so there's no limit to human being imagination, <laughs> let's see, so exactly. like Solo can uh, provide everybody with his help from this, this standpoint. Um, to me, um, the, um, the, like the, the nicest, the most interesting thing about Solo is the, how fast it is. It's really easy because actually you just fill in the the gaps like the, the name of the supplier and, and the client and then you invoice you send an, an email to to him with with the client and copy and you take care of everything until the and then you um inform us when the the money reached the the bank account mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. it's easy it's fast it's really reliable i should say because i i trust my i i tried myself and it's totally reliable, you know, because some this could be a problem for some customers, as far as you might be aware of, you know, people tend not to trust online services. I mean, we're getting better these days, but we're still far from the US market. And uh, whilst, you know, I, I, at least that's my experience, my client's experience, you're super reliable and I really appreciate that. And, uh, Thank you. So you working on um, exploring new uh, application, or are you developing yeah, even like, like yeah like like any other company? Obviously, we, we are open uh, open minded and uh, and look look around and uh, what could be the next big thing. So, but um, we have been mostly focusing on uh, services and and uh, and uh, digital goods so far. So, uh, if we will open new new areas, and so time will say. Thank you very much. And so far, is it applicable only to European Union countries, or you? Uh, it depends. Uh, with Solo Go, which is our partnership and virtual company-based model, uh, yes, we require uh, the customers. Let's say the customers uh, who sign up with us to be banked in the European Union have a SEPA bank account, and their own like end customers must be also European Union customers. With a Solo Leap, where you own a company, you can like do whatever business you want, and, uh, if it's legal, of course. Yeah, I mean, so, uh, that's the yeah. premise. Is given that. That should be legal of course yeah okay. <laughs> makes sense and how is your relationship with local bank account I mean when you set up a company and then you can provide a client a customer with a bank account I guess 99% of the time we're talking about an Estonian bank account uh, yeah so again for solo solo go for the partnership we are providing an Estonian bank account right now so for Solo Leap, uh, which is where people own their company, so we just started uh, cooperation with German Wirecard, which means that people can get the bank account, a German Ivan number, a German bank account in a fully licensed German bank through online onboarding and like uh, operate account also online through our platform. Yes, yeah, such as you know, TransferWise or yeah. that provide you with yeah. an Ivan and an operative account. So, okay, I see. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But which is the the bank, if you might say, 
that you rely on it's, it's, in Estonia? It's a wire card. In Estonia, it's a called, bank called LHV, which is one of the most uh, respected uh, banks in Estonia. And uh, secondly, for the for solo lead product, we have uh, Wirecard, which is a big German uh, bank, which is listed on stock exchange as well. And any, have you noticed any um, changes because of this pandemic? I mean, how are... Not they really. No, we haven't actually seen... Uh, first of all, I mean, we're operating as, 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 as usual, and uh, even if all of our people are working from home, so they're all safe and uh, we continue operations as usual, and, uh, there has been no interruptions. And we haven't seen much uh, impact on our customers yet either. So uh, yes, we do have and maybe a few tons of percentages of customers who have been in impacted. Uh, but um, the majority of our customers, they still are going forward with their business and uh, they, some of them are reporting even higher growth than the water crisis. Yeah, probably. Depends on activity, of course. Now all, um, all around the world, we, we're stuck in in our places working remotely, so I guess maybe you, you're about to increase your customers because of this reason, because now is the only way. I mean, even if you, if you want to keep on like earning something, because some people are about to, to lose their jobs, I mean, it's a huge mess. So maybe working remotely and having the chance to start with solo, even without setting up uh, your own VAT number just to start from, could be a really nice chance that you offer in this very exactly. moment. Exactly. Yes, we, we, we are empowering uh, the people who are independent and uh, it is very, very important, especially now. And we are the easiest way to launch a business and it, you can do it fully online. So uh, it's usually much, much more complicated. Like you, usually if you go to Germany, for example, and, and launch your business, you need to interact with different government agencies and uh, financial uh, authorities and uh, or tax authorities and so on. So it's uh, it's very difficult. And uh, in case of solo, you can do it literally in 10 minutes and uh, you are in business and uh, it just works. Yeah, we, by solo go, it's even faster because you should just invoice the, the counterpart and, and that's it. And, even yeah. and if, obviously, yes, we, 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 we require the customers when they sign up, of, of course, course, to provide ID and uh, like we're checking on the background of the customers. But uh, yeah, it, but it takes very, very short time. Yeah, absolutely. And um, what about the, the percentage of your service so far? Uh, pardon, uh, percentage of what? Yeah, I'm sorry, the fee that you apply on, okay. the, on, okay. the, on the transactions. Yeah. Yeah, long, we have again we have two models, and uh, when you own a company, in this case uh, in, in Solo Leap, you pay a monthly fee, and uh, it, it, there are different pricing plans, but uh, let's say in, in, usually it's a bit below uh, 100 euros uh, per month. And uh, in case of Solo Go, when you have a partnership, we have actually implemented a pay as you go model, which means that there is no risk, so there is no fixed monthly fee you know, that you need to pay. You only pay when you have business. And we charge 5% of the payouts, which means that if you pay uh, expenses or if you pay yourself from the money that you earned, so we charge 5%. But there is no obligation to pay us any, any fixed monthly fees. And I find this really reasonable because if you're lucky enough to rely on a tax advisor like me, let's say, and going through XoloGo, actually paying just the 5% as a commission, and, and if you have something that take care of your taxes, of course, because of course, solo and maybe we should specify this. I mean, you, of course, um, disclaim, I mean, in your disclaimer, you um, explicitly say that as regard the personal income tax, freelancers and whoever who takes his advantage from solo should rely on himself. I mean, you don't take care of the um, tax standpoint of the customers, of course, you, because you couldn't in the end of the day. Yeah. Look, uh, first of all, let me go back to the fees yeah, for a please. second. And, and when I mentioned the uh, 5%, actually from the 1st of April and at least until the middle of May, we have lowered the fee on solar gold product from 5%. Uh, to 2.5%, so we have actually cut 50% off, which makes it even more interesting. So it's 2.5% uh, within a month and a half 
and so uh, that's, uh, that's our current campaign to bring more people in and uh, help them during the crisis. But uh, going back to the taxes, and again, there are differences a little bit uh, between uh, Solar Leap and Solar yeah. Go product. In Solar Go, uh, a private person is our counterpart. And uh, if there is a partnership, it is actually kind of what is called tax transparent, which means that the, the, the partnership is not a legal entity. And uh, if the money comes from the end customer to the freelancer, so uh, there is no tax in between. So, uh, but if the freelancer gets paid, of course, um, he or she needs to declare that money in, in, in at her home uh, country and uh, pay uh, pay taxes uh, as required. So we are not uh, we are not withholding any taxes, but uh, you, you need to take care of your own taxation. In case of Solar Leap, where you own a company, uh, you have an Estonian registered company, and Estonia has very lucrative taxes, and which means that uh, there is no corporate income tax. Uh, on profits and unless you distribute dividends. So the only moment where your corporate tax is uh, tax is when you distribute dividends. But if you keep your profits in the company, for example, if you earn like one million in one year and didn't take any dividends, so there is no government tax uh, levied on, on, on that profit. Which makes it even more interesting because you can use Xologo, for example, for uh, occasional working for temporary consultancy fee, for example, then you can keep it there as safe mm -hmm. as it is with no risk at all, and then you can collect it, collect it when you are in the like in a situation when it could be more favorable even from your your own standpoint. So it's even more interesting. Right. And that's right. right. Yes, there is, yes, yes, there is no, no obligation to collect right away. Okay. So thank you very much. I mean, so far I'm, I'm uh, I thank you, thank you for your time and for your answers. Uh, to me, uh, of course, your service is, uh, is is been vital in a couple of times because uh, it's not always. For example, um, it was really useful to me not because I don't have any other companies to invoice with my customer, uh, but sometimes some customers uh, can't transfer uh, the money on. A, Kind of a typical bank account. For example, somebody can't use TransferWise, somebody else can't, cannot use uh, Revolut, whilst, uh, you know, having always a backup bank account in Estonia, which is a really reliable mm -hmm. country, by the way, between within the, the European Union, could be just a, um, a, one more, a, a technical more way to 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 like to allow your clients to, to pay you, which sometimes it's not that easy so that's why i use it uh, more than once and thank you thank you thank you very much so and uh, i guess anyway the, the most of your customers are euro europe based yes uh, most but not only okay. not only yes yes so yeah I, I guess you work a lot even with the us US we are like sort of, let's, let's say about 80 percent of our customers are from Europe, uh, based in Europe, and not all of them in the European Union. So some of them in non-EU countries, but uh, let's say 80 percent, and, and mostly in EU, but uh, sometimes uh, in countries like Ukraine or Norway or uh, Switzerland and so on. So uh, and uh, so we have about 10 percent in Asia. Uh, very often, actually, European expats, but uh, located in Asia, and five percent in in, in America. Yeah, Thailand, Hong Kong. Yeah, makes sense. Makes sense to me. Yeah. And um, uh, one more interesting feature is that uh, for using Xologo, you don't need any residency. While no. you know, no. sometimes it, it takes time, a couple of weeks at least to get your Estonian e residency. While that's right. through Xologo it's really easy and fast, you don't need it. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, uh, e residency is needed for a solo leap product in order to uh, launch and incorporate your company. But for solo go now, uh, you just need to have European bank account and your valid documentation. Yeah, and it, it's great. Whilst as you were saying for using solo leap of course because you are about to set up your own company in that very case so you need a new residency of course and it takes i guess about three weeks it took mine three weeks it depends, it depends, it depends on location you know, sometimes it can take two weeks sometimes uh, about the months but uh, yeah it depends on, on which location you are it's very efficient by the way 
the Estonian government is really on it. So congrats. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, Estonia is getting real well these days. I mean, these last five years, the Estonian marketing about e-services uh, is going crazy. And so it's, it's nice. Sometimes it's not really easy to rely on local bank accounts because of the great time banking. So we should specify this. It's not only an Estonian matter. It's a worldwide one. So just to be honest. But still, sometimes getting a bank account, even in Estonia these days, could be really, really hard, especially for services. Because as far as you don't have any substance, like employee offices and uh, warehouses, it's really hard. It's, if not impossible, I'd say, to get a bank account. So, but anyway, that's just my yeah. perspective. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's, that's why we launched the cooperation with Wirecard in Germany. So uh, and now we can offer bank accounts without traveling to Estonia. And um, basically, it's all available online. It's easy to set up and open. So uh, yeah, it works as uh, a charm. So um, many people have used it already. Great. So, Alan, I really don't know how to thank you for your time. It was enlightening to me. Thank you, Andrew. Thank you so much. Really. Thank you so much. It's been a pleasure. Yeah.